Yo, right then, lads. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, today's video, we've got a quick one. Just showing off a few um, decent cards for under 5k currently. That you can possibly use as super subs. Or, I mean, technically, you can integrate them into your team as well. Um, but <clears throat> we've got cards up to 5k that I think will be good off the bench. A few of them I've tried out myself. A few of them actually start for me. Um... If you do enjoy or find this video helpful in any way, shape or form, make sure to drop a like and drop a sub. Follow my socials, obviously, on screen for right now. And uh, once again, just make sure that uh, if you do enjoy, you drop a sub. Um, other than that, we'll uh, we'll get straight into it right now. So if we go over to here, we've got... First off, this guy I used last year with a Chompong up front. A Chompong isn't in this list, however, Boateng, I did use last year, therefore I used him this year as well, obviously full star, full star, very decent, good pace, he's actually got fairly decent finishing as well, um, dribblings, obviously, it's, the composure could be an issue, 69 composure, however, when it comes to using him in this stage of the game, as a starter, he's actually been doing fairly well for me. And uh, obviously 700 coins, you cannot really go wrong. Uh, second off, we've got Munir, also a starter for me. Um, Boateng was a starter on Xbox, Munir is a starter on PlayStation for me. Uh, three star weak foot, probably not the best, however I, I haven't really noticed it. Um, pace is obviously decent, it's not the fastest, but at this stage it's probably going to beat most defenders. Uh, once again the dribbling is not really an issue here, actually everything's a lot better than Oratengs. Um but other than that once again, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills, um, you know you can't really go wrong with him. And he's once again 750 coins so he's literally, he's proper, well proper cheap yeah, he, most people are going to be able to afford him. This, this one's a bit more expensive. Once again, I know I'm going to say it again. Also, a starter on PlayStation for me. Uh, Huang He Chan, I actually used him on 7. I'm actually using him on 7 chemistry. And he's a beast. Genuinely, I rate this card highly. Uh, 3 star skill moves, obviously, not ideal, especially not for me, as I do like to lack like, care, stop and turn, shit like that. Um, however, they may have made the stop and turn a 3 star skill this year, I'm not too sure. Um, but this card's coming in at about 3.3k, as you can see on PlayStation, 3.5 on Xbox. Um, the pace is very good, obviously easily going to be defenders at this stage. The shooting is average, uh, the dribbling also average, but at this stage, average is really all you need. Um, the dribbling collectively isn't actually that bad, obviously better composure than Boateng. Reactions and ball control, nice to balance, maybe a bit bit off but should be alright with it um, not the best stamina but obviously this video is super sub so they're only going to be playing for probably maximum of 45 minutes in the off chance that maybe a card gets injured they may play a bit more but 74 stamina is more than enough the next one we've got a uh, Cater Baldy obviously this guy was a beast at the start of last FIFA um, a lot of people used him linked to Ben Yedda. Um, and then they used, I think it was Onyakura on the left. I know that Nick were on the foot market around that for a while. Four star, four star. Obviously, pace once again is fine. Dribbling, also fine. Shooting, the penalties and volleys lets it down, but 76 finishing, 79 shot power. That's more than enough for uh, the stage of the game. Obviously, full game in isn't even out yet, so players like this, they're gonna still be fairly OP, you literally just pace abuse at the minute, that seems to be the strat that everyone's going for, three balls in behind and then just pace abuse. Uh, 900 coins, once again you can't really go wrong, 4 star, 4 star, uh, fairly decent card. Obviously you'll start to notice a bit of a theme with these first couple, however towards the end I do have a few different ones. Uh, another one, Bakambu, 950 coins, 1000 on Xbox, 3 star weak foot which could be a problem, uh, I haven't actually used this card myself yet. Uh, however, obviously 90 pace once again very good, finishing, shooting very good, uh, the dribbling is also 
completely fine in my opinion. The balance, once again, maybe just a little bit off. Stamina and jumping, very good. Uh, six foot as well, so there's a chance that he could get on a few headers. Um, crossing seems to be a bit better this year, so could be something to take in mind. But um, yeah, Bukambu looks like a very solid card. He was at the start of last FIFA, and I believe that he will will be the same going into this FIFA. Uh, this is, I think, this is the most expensive card on the list. We've got Rebic, four star, four star, eighty eight pace. Obviously, the split's a bit weird. Ninety one sprint speed, but it takes him a while to get there. Um, the shooting's more than fine though. Eighty finishing, eighty five shot power, very nice. Um, the balance obviously fairly low. Uh, strength and aggression could work in his favour if he wants to like say if he loses a ball he's gonna he's gonna push straight away and he's gonna go and make sure that he can get that ball back and uh continue the attack four star four star uh, just under 5k just under the threshold for this video but i believe there'll be a decent card uh next one we've got another Syria player four star four star once again lewis moriel uh, just under 3k this time uh, very nice dribbling very nice shooting and Fairly nice pace as well, to be fair. So, I reckon this card will be a decent card to use. Um, maybe even a starter squad. Um, obviously, with him being Serie A, he should be fairly easy to link. Um, but yeah, I'd say this card's fairly decent. Obviously, stamina maybe might let him down. And he might have to be subbed off for one of these super subs um, if he did start. But I reckon it'll be a fairly decent card to use at the start of the game. Rashika. Um, 5k dead on he's probably a bit more uh, but I decided to put him in anyway I've heard nothing but good things about this guy Rashik has apparently been a beast for many people 93 acceleration 84 sprint speed so obviously he's fast to get up to where he wants so if he can like I'm trying to think of like a situation where we can use it but say if he like he gets the ball straight away he can knock it forward and then run onto it and uh, before a defender, because obviously that acceleration is there, that initial boost. Uh, dribbling is very good once again. 90 agility, very nice. All star, all star, obviously he's going to weave in and out of players. Um, the shot power is nice, the long shots are nice, the finishing itself is it's, it's not bad by any means. So I reckon Rashika will be a fairly decent card to use as well at the start. Uh, this guy is insane. I've heard once again nothing but good things about this guy four star four star um the agility the balance the dribbling in itself is just insane well insane for the start of the game obviously you can't really fault anything there um the pace obviously once again enough pace to be a defender at this stage of the game and the shooting is the positioning is probably a nice thing to have um as high as that because i don't think we've had another on the list as high as that but Basically, he's just going to find himself in space a lot. Um, made those runs and, you know, hopefully going to lead to a, a few goals for you. Obviously, 750 coins. Once again, CSL is a very good league to go for in terms of value for money. We've had Edda, Boateng. Um, we've had Bakambu, who I've mentioned. I think we've got two more in this list. And obviously, we've got the players like a Trompon, who I haven't included in this list. And like Paulinho, people like that. Um, but yeah. And also with Edo being Italian, he could be fairly easy to link. However, I'm not too sure what Italians are available in the game. Um, the next one we have Taliska. Obviously, another Chinese Super League player. Bit of a different one to the rest of them. Uh, obviously, this this guy is more of a cam than maybe a winger or a striker like the others. Uh, obviously, that is his position on the game. His dribbling's nice, his passing is the highest we've seen on the list, which, you know, is a good thing in this game because the passing is a bit off. Um, stamina's good as well. Strength's also fairly decent. The shooting's actually really good. The pace kind of lets him down a bit, but obviously as a cam, you're not really looking for pace. You want to, you want him, like, holding up the play um, and playing those through balls to someone like Adair or Overtank to run onto the end and uh, finish it. And obviously if it... If, Taliska finds himself on the edge of the box. Chances are he's probably going to be able to whack in a finesse. Um, but yeah, I, I rate Taliska. I've done for the past few games, to be fair. Uh, once again, obviously, Shakiri, the first five star skiller on this list. M the main reason I've put him in, because I know that people like myself do like to skill. Um, five star skill when he's four star weak foot. 
His dribbling's good, obviously, as you'd expect, five foot seven. So he's kind of one of the meta players from last year. Whether he fits the meta this year, I'm not too sure yet. Still trying to work out the meta. Uh, his pace isn't the best. His shooting, fairly average. The finishing isn't the best. Passing's good though. So once again, this guy's like playing the Taliska role, dropping down in at Cam and uh, playing the through balls to your players up front, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, he's got the ability to beat a man with the skill moves and the very good dribbling um, however after he beats a man he's going to have to lay off the ball because there's not there's not going to be many players he's going to outpace at this stage especially if they've got a chem style on you don't because not many people put chem styles on the super subs uh, we do have another five star skill here who does have a bit more pace better dribbling as well passing not so good the shooting about the same Obviously the finishing's, I think the finishing on Alaska was 70, yeah. Um, so this guy's got a lot better finishing. He does have the three star weak foot though as well, so you do have to be cautious when using him. So you ain't gonna be able to link this guy into a team if you do them props to you. Um, a thousand coins though, you can't really complain with it. I reckon it'll be a fairly decent super sub. Uh, probably once again dropping in at Cam. Um, the ability to beat the man with high dribbling and the skills and then passing it one of your players obviously extra pace could help him in those situations but i still don't think he's fast enough to be a winger or a, or a solo striker uh, giovinco once again the same coming in at cam uh, the dribbling stats are insane passing once again not so good shooting perfectly fine uh pace he's he's a cam he's not going to be playing at striker uh, because I think all, if I'm correct, all super subs come on at 6 chem. So even if you whack, say, a hunter on him, he's still... Obviously that's a 10 chem, if you whack him on at 6 chem, he's it's plus 4. So 84 pace still isn't, isn't the worst, but even then... Yeah, I'd, uh, putting, in, putting a hunter on a uh, on a super sub seems a bit of a waste right at the start of the game. Um, however, obviously as a cam, he's a very... Decent card to use, obviously, with the 4-star, 4-star once again. Coming into the penultimate player here, we've got 4-star uh, skill moves, 5-star weak foot's a senior. Um, this guy's just... He's 1.7k. Possibly a bit too expensive. I reckon he will drop down, obviously. I think the Brazil link is what makes him that bit more expensive. Um, the shooting's perfectly fine, though. The dribbling, average... Passing, the uh, passing's not the best. The pace is also not the best, but I think it would make a good cam. Obviously, the five-star weak foot was huge last year. Whether it is so much this year, I'm not too sure. Obviously, it is nice having it though. Um, I reckon this guy could make a decent cam if he drops down to like a K. I would recommend using him as a super sub. And last but not least, we've got uh, the, basically the same card, bit more dribbling on this card though, and he does have the three-star weak foot, which isn't the best, but the four-star skill moves once again, and the dribbling combined, going to be able to beat a man fairly easily, then obviously the good passing helps him make the next pass, the shooting's good this time, like the shooting's good enough, finishing's really good this year, so I reckon that this will benefit a fair few players like this 76 shooting at the start of the game isn't really a problem not many people have got the op goalkeepers and that yet uh, if there even is such a thing as an op goalkeeper on fifa i do not know um but once again this guy's going to be dropping down into camp obviously i didn't want to if you look at like all the other ones i've given like um they're just they're more strikers and wingers they're going to be like they Having a cam with nice pace is nice for like the one twos and that, but I'd much prefer to have cam with good dribbling and good passing. Hence the reason the last four or five on the list have been the cams that you can use. Obviously, don't get me wrong, you can still draw like Berbatang into a cam. He does. I think Berbatang plays cam for me actually, um, because I do like the one the one twos. But obviously, um, I'm not. I don't know, at, the, at this stage it's kind of just 1-2 and then run uh, as we progress into the next few weeks, getting towards the weekend leagues and that, the super subs are going to be needed and they're going to have to be, obviously as people's teams progress, the super subs and your team are going to have to progress. But I think that, well, that is the list done. I think it's a strong list of players, 
uh, a fair few players that you can use in your team here. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub. Uh, if you've got any more suggestions, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. Um, I, I'll probably do another updated one of these at some point, maybe like a 5 to 10k one or a 5 to 25 or a 10 to 25, something like that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.